guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. But if you've been around the block with me before, you know what you're getting into. <laughs> so, that I just made myself sound way cooler than I am. I'm kind of huffing and puffing going fast because there's a huge storm outside of my house that I'm just gonna regret if I don't show you. So just one second, let me show you this. how long my ring light is gonna have power. So we're going back in. I've been delaying this challenge for way too long. I'm sorry, Chloe Ting. Also, if you guys were ever team mystic, you know what's up. So, okay, going back around through my messy house. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is the Chloe Ting Hourglass program. Because not only is she a fitness YouTuber who just does the typical uploads of workouts, she makes these programs and she puts a lot of work into that. And I really appreciate it. So I figured, you know what? I've never challenged myself with a program before where I was having to watch more than one video or dedicate more than 10 minutes to a workout. And I want the booty. I want the rock hard abs. So if I want these things, I have to be realistic and up my game. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna up my game. So instead of it being 30 days, she actually has it for 26 days and there's off days. And I just, I'm not complaining. Let me get you propped up on here. Ah. Okay, how am I now? Okay, so my ring light, it oftentimes washes me out, so I gotta be super careful. But let me show you my abs. So here's me relaxed. There's a little definition. Here's me flexed. Oh. But you can see like I'm not rocking a total flat tummy. Uh, that's kind of hard to achieve, but maybe I'll achieve it this time. And then of course I got a little booty going on here. And the spandex, of course, gives it a nice lift. But the real thing is those measurements, because don't we always just care about the numbers? <sighs> Which we shouldn't, but I play along. 29 inches, 32 inches, 36 and a half inches. But let's be real, have this be as reference, but numbers, you're stupid, okay? They don't really determine how you look and how you feel. Let me see what I have in store for day one. So I'm on the main page of the Chloe Ting Hourglass program, and it says that per day you'll be doing 25 to 50 minutes. Ugh, intense, okay. And I need a fitness mat, which I have. If you guys don't have one, I prefer the really thick ones. They're available on Amazon. Sorry, you guys are right here. <laughs> I'll link you down below. Jeez, you know, you got like a three days without filming and you're just crazy. Day one, it looks like I'll be doing, oh, two videos. So one of the ones that she recently posted, and then there's a ab one. Okay, that makes sense. It's booty and abs. Already clicked it. I guess I'm getting started. Oh, commercial. That's not for me. <laughs> Don't listen. Start with some high knees. Do a slow high knee if you want a no jumping, low impact version. Only the first four exercises are standing while the rest are on the ground. First workout complete. That was my first time following a Chloe Ting workout. And oh, I love her layout with how she put so much information on screen for you to keep track. Love that. So I feel like it's definitely an organized program. And she also alternates where first off, all the standing stuff you do and then you're done. Like you don't have to keep getting standing back up, sitting back down which I hate. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of seven ups or burpees or whatever they call them, blah, blah, you know. So do the stand up portion and included squats. You know, I'm, I'm it's just struggle bus with those squats. Did that, um, so that's fine. And then also she alternated with it being kind of like a harder and easier workout. So I definitely broke a sweat. I'm used to using ankle weights. So some of the stuff I felt like I wasn't really feeling it, but that's the point of it being a longer program and I have another video to do. I'm sweating. <laughs> I think I said that. Update. So it is about 1.30 a.m. and I haven't had time to do my workout and it's like, I gotta do my workout. I'm just doing it here in the living room because I have the overhead fan going because I'm kind of hot already. 
I've also kind of had some chills, oddly, so I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna refuse to believe whatever's going on, ignore my symptoms. So, <laughs> we gotta do this workout. Let me get, let me get you propped up here. Um, I think I flip you guys around. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm upside down. Okay, now let me flip you guys around. Yesterday was my first off day. It listed it as an active off day, which I don't know what that means. I mean, I did some kicking in the pool. I assume it means do some basic cardio but I also napped like a lot and slept in. I think I napped twice that day. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I did the workout. So now I looked at what day five is and day five is four stinking videos. And I've been sore leading up to this. So I'm hoping maybe it's gonna start getting a little bit easier, like a little bit maybe. Sorry, this workout is too long, it's too much. Now, when there's four videos again for other days, she rotates them out. But I gotta say, when you do day five, the last exercise is rough because you're not really lying down and there's some cardio involved and you're hopping and bopping around. Look at my abs already. Now, it's not flat, but I'm telling you, just relax, you're seeing so much definition. I feel like my legs have some bulk to them. And then my booty, which is kind of hard because spandex lifts the booty, but it kind of compresses the circumference. So you're gonna just have to take it as is. But I am feeling like a workout guru right now. Wash out. Outfit to work out in. Um, hi, <laughs> coming in with a little update. It is pretty late at night, so I gotta make this quick because then I gotta do my workout. Ooh, okay, I'm upside down. One second. Basically, right now what I'm struggling with is doing like dips of any sort, like squats in general, I've never really been well versed in. So I'm still having trouble like bringing it down. And then also, I hope you guys can hear me. This exercise right here, like, I don't know, I think I'm leaning too far forward or something. Um, so I think I, I think a lot of it is that I have to build muscle and I'm just not used to it. And I'm just being a little bit stiff here and there. And then every once in a while, my booty gets cramped. <laughs> I think it's just because it's just so many booty exercises, sometimes like one after the other. And because I wanna keep up with the video, I don't have time to be like, Ooh, let me rub out my booty. You know, I'm kind of like doing a pose. Usually a lot of times it's like a fire hydrant. So I'm like doing a fire hydrant and I'm like massaging my butt. <laughs> like gotta keep going. This update is not fun uh, because I never want it to be interpreted as me bashing Chloe Ting or Hourglass program, but something is not fitting right with me. And I think it has to do with how I work out and my lifestyle. It's really hard for me to stay motivated when one night I'm doing a 20 minute workout and then bam, I'm getting hit with 50 minutes. It makes it harder for me to time it out and I find myself losing time in the day where I have to cut it short. And then I also am struggling with boredom, which sounds bad because this is only a 26 day program, but I find myself bored. Like let's say I get delivered four videos to do that day. Well, we'll do a lot of um, like booty moves and video one, and then I'll find myself repeating the same moves on video three. To be honest, it kind of seems like when she was making this program, she felt like she was just gonna make four videos and piece them together like a drag and drop option to make it look like a lot of thought went into this program when I just don't see the science behind it. I, I don't. Um, I'm not saying that it doesn't work, I'm not throwing Chloe Ting out the window here, but if you're like me, my recommendation is to go to her channel, click the video tab, and then look at all the videos she has and kind of create your own routine. That's all that I have to report back with. Um, I guess we will know more when it's day 26. It's the last day of the challenge. It is time to get the results. Usually when I do these workout challenges and I approach the last day, I'm nervous, but this time I'm kind of dreading it. Um, I admitted in my last update that I haven't been giving it my all. We've already talked about this. 
Uh, so there's no point in going into depth. I think I'm also dreading uploading this because in no way do I want to hurt Chloe Ting's feelings or harm her YouTube career because there's no denying that she is a great fitness guru. Well, since it's the last day, I can't change the results. So let's just jump right into it. I also just snacked right before I did this video. <laughs> Why? Why did I do that? Let's just give you guys a visual. Uh, first off, the visual is, look at how this cheetah matches the snow leopard. I feel like it's the next level up from matching denim with denim. Just gonna say that. <laughs> if all else fails, at least look at this cool fashion concept I have. Um, okay, so the Hourglass program consisted of targeting um, being like an ab workout and a booty workout. So I did measurements along my waist, my lower tummy, and my booty. But I want you guys to see, this is me when I am not flexing. Um, the booty's a bit harder to see. There we go. So you can kind of get an idea there. Um, my abs still looks like I have a little bit of a tummy coming out, but it's not too bad. Um, this is me relaxed. Now I'm going to flex because every girl deserves their flexing moment on camera. <laughs> so, there we go. A little bit tighter, uh, but don't really see this going away. So gonna have to bring out the measuring tape where I don't know where I put the measuring tape. I found it and it's the same one that's really old, but it still works. Let's get the numbers. 29 inches, 33 inches, 36 and a half inches. Yes, I'm disappointed in the numbers, but I will have to say that when it comes to being a woman, your stomach appearance changes all of the time. I am getting close to um, that part of my cycle where I notice I kind of gather just like a little bit more water weight. <laughs> so there is that. And then also because we weren't using weights to bulk up the booty, I think my booty still looks really nice, but it managed to make it more lean. Uh, so I wouldn't toss this workout out the window because not everybody wants a bubble butt. They might just want a nice looking butt. And if you do it with more dedication than I did, you're still going to see better results. I understand that some of you guys will be disappointed in me. You took the time to sit down, watch this entire video, and then that's the outcome. Uh, I'm hoping though you still find takeaway out of this with having to be an honest review of the program. So um, lesson learned, I learned something about myself and maybe it'll help you consider your next workout. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to find the good here. Um, but um, subscribe if you want to join the fam bam. Bam bam bam. Was the timing there good? <laughs> like after I tell you that it's like subscribe, but you know, still if you enjoy these videos, I will see you next time. I love you, I mean it. Bye guys.